Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we will draw this sum in isometric. They have given you front view and left hand side view. See this. This is origin, front view, left hand side view. We will see length, width and height. Length is 100, height is 20, 20, 15 and 25 and width is 50. So first we will draw layout. See now in front view there are two parts and inside you there are three parts. So we'll start with front view and if you see this entire thing is one unit. So we'll try and draw that first. Always remember whenever you have slope, you start with that slope. I'll go down by 45. Then I will draw horizontal line, but we don't know where it stops. So we need to draw the slope. So what I'll do, I'll assume that this entire structure is slope. I'll go down by 25 then I'll take 15 from here I'll take 15 and I'll draw a line which is 30 and then you join this so you'll get this part whatever is there in the front the same thing is behind so with that concept you can take this behind all these lines behind by 50 50 you draw a vertical line again you draw a line like this see from here also you draw a line and you draw this slope so we are done with this part one now this slope, cut slope, so if you draw this line, you have to take it behind, how much behind? It's 20 from here, so from front you take 30 or from behind you take 20 and you draw this and from here also you take 20 and you draw slope. After that you take this line inside, take this line inside and you draw a vertical line See like this. See this part is done, part 2 is done. I'll take this behind by 15, sorry 20. So this is also done. Now I'll draw this L shape. Now after that, we'll draw the lower part which is dark. This part is also dark. This part is also dark. Now we need to draw a circle. So radius is 25, so we'll draw rhombus of 50. Then we'll take longest diagonal, midpoint, midpoint. Join to the opposite corner. Now from here, let's say this is point 1, 2, 3, 4. This is MM. This is 2, this is 3, this is 4. Now from point 1 to M and we'll draw R. So we'll use 4 center method to complete the semicircle. See this from here. You draw R. Then from 3 to M.
Now after this you take this point behind, you draw a tangent, 3 you take behind by 15 and 1 also you take behind by 15. So from 3 you cut 15 behind 3 dash. So we'll draw arc from there and take point 1 behind by 15 and mark that point as 1 dash. So now what we need to do, we need to take 1 to M original radius and we go on 1 dash and we draw arc. Same way we'll take 3 to M whatever radius we have we'll go behind by 15 3 dash and we'll draw arc and then we draw tangent like this. So this is how you'll get this sum. So it's a complete isometric sum. It is from Mumbai University engineering drawing paper. I hope everyone understood. Thank you.